Hi everyone, welcome back to another scripting tutorial. So in this one here we're going to learn how rotors work um, through basics. Uh, so first things first, this is what you need here to effectively make the rotor work. So the first part is block declaration. So we're seeing we're going to create a new variable called my rotor and it's a block which is tutorial rotor. So to put that into basics, we are going to look for a rotor called tutorial rotor and assign that to my rotor. And then the logic behind that is is my rotor, which is the block that you have, and you have things like your torque, braking torque, and uh, the velocity, lower limit, and upper limit. So, at the moment, it is set to minus five as velocity. But say, for example, we want to speed that up to ten, so like ten revolutions. So you just do OK, and run, and see now it's gone the other way and sped up to ten. Say we want to put it up to twenty. Just change that to twenty. And see the bit speeds up. So, in vanilla Space Engineers, 30 is the maximum velocity that you can set to your rotors. But if you set, um, or not set, but if you install a mod called the Unlimited Speed Mod, it allows you to put in anything you want in here, and there is no cap, there's no limit. So, say for example, we set that to 100, which is 3.3 times higher than what Space Engineers allows. See the bit that now has sped up to 100. And of course, we can go up as far as we want. So let's set ten thousand. And that's going to get quicker and quicker and quicker. So that's the basics on how a rotor works. So again, uh, you just need to set your variable, uh, my rotor. Like that can be whatever you want. So for example, say we're going to do rotor x, right? As long as you have that copied, right? So copy my rotor and just replace all these here with the same so rotor x it can be whatever you want it doesn't have to be like at in specific like a block name or anything like it just whatever you set here like whatever you're set telling that block to do needs to be that there so like you could have two blocks you could have rotor x and rotor y two rotor blocks so one has to be rotor x and one has to be rotor y and then you have you can have different logic for both and we can quickly show that so how we're going to do that is we're going to run that actually i'm just going to slow that down because it is going a wee bit mad so let's set that to 30 so it's easier to see and that's going to slow down and we are going to build another one so we need our rotor which is five uh, let's put that here now this one here is called um tutorial rotor but we'll call this one here um say i don't know uh let's let's call it well we can call it rotor y it doesn't actually matter so that's rotor y so we go in here we go to edit now to do that there and um, what we'll do is we'll just copy this here line so we'll copy that actually let's just copy the entire sort of thing from here to here but make sure that you're in these here curly braces. So we're just going to skip the whole lo lines down and paste it here. So this is for our new block. Let's call this here rotor Y. This can also be rotor Y. So we'll just call that rotor Y. And then we just have to change all these here to Y. There we go. And let's say we want to go this here to negative 30. Do OK. Run. And see the bait now. That's going in the opposite direction. So that's um one script is controlling them two rotors. So say for example we set this here to negative five and take that off. Run. Now see the bit they're both running in opposite directions. And then again, just go in here and change that to let's match them both up. So what is that one? 30 and 30. There we go. Run. So that's how rotors work. Um, if you want to get this here code, you can either get it in the description or it'll be on my website uh, where there'll be other scripts in that. Now, just to note that my website is currently under construction, I am trying to tidy up the tutorials for it so that way you can split them into categories. Like, say, for example, a tutorial for rotors, a tutorial for LCDs, a tutorial for like writing stuff to LCDs, etc. So that's upcoming in the future. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks again for watching. If you have any suggestions, just put them down in the comments. Or if you have any questions at all, just stick them in and I'll try and answer them as quick as I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.